Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me once again in this course. Uh, in this video, I'll be speaking to the process um, involved in vulnerability management. Alright, so let's dive in. Okay, so for processes involved in vulnerability management, um, these are six processes and these are the processes that every vulnerability management solution usually goes through to perform uh, vulnerability management. So um, for for identify assets what it means is that um, the vulnerability management solution will perform something we call asset inventory and when perform asset inventory it performs it at two levels one performs it at application level and also perform this at um, endpoint level so for application level it tells you the application itself uh, which application is running on your, in your as uh, what application do you have running um, in your environment uh, what is the version of that application um, also for endpoint if it's a it is if it's a server it tells you the operating system running on the server operating system it could be linux based it could be windows based and also provides you with the build as well of that um, operating system running on that server and also the hardware of running on that server itself in terms of memory in terms of cpu in terms of tick storage as well so um, that's what the identify asset um, helps you to achieve and we identify asset um, vulnerability management solution uses um, host discovery scans so the host discovery scan is what helps you to um, have those visibility in terms of the at the application level and also at the endpoint level um, of your asset and one of the things that this helps you to do is that it helps you to identify devices that has reached end of life and also that has reached um, end of support and what end of life means is that those devices that have reached end of life would no longer be manufactured uh, by the oems and for end of support means that that application uh, will no longer be supported in terms of um, or providing with patches or software upgrade uh, for those particular um, assets itself so it's very important that um, we we every vulnerability management solution actually goes through these stages so it helps it helps you to have visibility into uh, what you're doing and it also can also be used for asset inventory uh, so if you don't have an asset inventory solution in your environment you can also use this to achieve that however uh, in part, terms of asset inventory different tools perform better um, in terms of asset inventory so um Qualys, Tenable, um, Rapid7, other tools like uh, like that, they, they, they have their different strengths and weaknesses uh, as regards performing um, some of these uh, tasks. But all of them usually have an host discovery, which helps us to achieve um, identify assets. So the next stage is to perform um, prioritized assets. So prioritized assets is, is done uh, on the basis of risk analysis. So um, this is risk analysis um, is done in terms of it, it looks at each of the assets and it, it does um, a quick risk analysis to identify what would happen if this device is compromised. So what impact would it have on confidentiality, on integrity and also on availability um, if those devices are actually compromised. So uh, different f f solutions um, have different ways of prioritizing assets. Uh, for some, you can actually do the prioritization manually, meaning that you, you've done your risk analysis on all of the devices in your environment and you can place them in different asset groups. So in different asset groups, meaning that you can you can name them based on the criticality. So you can name them based on the business unit um, in terms of exposure. Is it internet facing or not internet facing? So the naming convention is up to you. But you know that you've prioritized your assets and you, you can place them in different asset groups. Uh, and then you can use them to uh, you, that will help you to prioritize those assets and with that you can determine the number of frequency of um, scanning that you will be done on those devices so you can prioritize that okay it, because this asset is very critical we must be running our vulnerability assessment on a weekly basis and for some that are not critical it could be once a month so it all depends on uh, how you prioritize the assets in your environment 
So for assess means that once we understand, once the tool has helped us to identify asset, then we can begin to run scans on those devices. So this scan here, we have we use scanning templates. So each of the vulnerability management solution provides with scanning template to run uh, for each or to assess um, those devices. So it could be it could be a scanning for compliance, for example. Probably you want to run a PCI uh, type of compliance scan on those devices, or it could be a configuration management uh, type of scanning, or it could also be a type of scanning to discover uh, vulnerabilities so it might be for might be network based vulnerability it might be database type of vulnerability so it depends on the type of assessment that you want to run on those assets that has actually been identified and the next stage after the assessment is to provide reports so there are different types of reports uh, that could be generated it could be executive based reports uh, it could be technical type of reports it could be remediation uh, you know type of report so different scanning tools provide different kinds of report it could also even be compliance based type of report so this type of reports uh, these reports you know brings us to the next stage meaning that we would send these reports to different um, asset owners so each of these asset owners would remediate uh, based on the assessments um, of those devices. So when a vulnerability assessment is done on, on the asset itself, it provides you with vulnerabilities uh, based on severity levels, it provides recommendations, it provides um, the CVEs um, or the C also the CVSS score. Of that particular vulnerability so um, at the remediation and the past stage this is where you actually remediate the vulnerabilities that have been identified or perform the or, or you know perform the recommendation based on the on the assessment reports that has been received so um, also some vulnerability management solution provide patching um, they have an embedded patching subscription or patching module in their tool so for example qualis provides that um, for tenable tenable only provides you with recommendation on how you can remedy those vulnerabilities but they don't they don't do patching directly from the tool itself so if you're doing patching um, using the vulnerability management tool like qualis for example qualis provides you with an public capability to patch those devices uh, patch those vulnerabilities directly from qualis uh, but you just need to have a patch management license so i'm going to discuss more in, in, uh, in my next video on, on all of these vulnerabilities on some of the top three vulnerability management tools and we can dive deep into some of their strengths and some of their weaknesses uh, so after this uh, remediation of patching has been done so uh, for the patching um, some organizations actually use a external patching um, solution to perform patches on their on their endpoints or the devices in their environment so um, most commonly used is sccm that's um, um software system system conf system center configuration management sorry about that system center configuration management which is developed by uh, microsoft um is actually used for patching so it's um, on premise and also cloud based um also we have wsus that's windows server update services also developed by microsoft can also be used for patching uh so uh, some also use atera as well for that and some also use manage engine manage engine for patch solution for their patching so there are different numerals um, depending on your budget numerous solutions out there that you can actually use for patching and after this um, process has been done this um, remediation of patches the last stage is to validate meaning that um, that solution this vulnerability management solution that actually we want a scan to confirm that this patching or the remediation has actually been done um, on those devices so that's pretty much the six stages that every vulnerability management solution tool will actually go through uh, to perform vulnerability management all right thank you very much for viewing uh, i hope you found this video very valuable and i hope to see you in my next video uh can you like share and subscribe um, to this channel to my channel thank you very much and bye for now